Guys, that feels pretty good, right? Okay, so I've literally simplified my routine so much. This is African black soap, and this is literally what I've been using. It looks so gross. It also does not smell good. It smells like dirt. I love it. Like, I'm obsessed with it. I think it makes my skin just really gentle, but also makes my skin feel really, really clean. And I honestly feel like my skin is kind of clearing up. Like, I feel like this over here has all gotten a lot lighter. So that's good. And then literally the only other thing I'm using is this clarifying cream from Primally Pure. Beef tallow, emu oil, jojoba, jojoba oil. Is that how you say it? I always say jojoba. <laughs> Uh, essential oils, manuka honey, tea tree, and rosemary extract. That's literally it. So it's all like really good ingredients. So I literally am just using those two things. Occasionally I'll also put castor oil in with this mixture at night. And I just feel like my skin is loving it. No, I'm so sad. I bought the wrong type of green tea. It says it's matcha. This is literally just like regular green tea. Well, it smells like matcha. I don't know. Okay, let's see if we have any other actual matcha. Maybe, I don't know if this is it. Is it the sweetened kind? I'm so excited. Okay, so we have quite a few things to catch up on. I didn't vlog it all last week because we had a launch for powders. We launched the Tingle Free pre-workout, which was like huge, but we were behind on content. So it just took me, it took like all my time last week. And I was like, I cannot vlog and do all of this at the same time. You're so precious. Yeah, but we have a lot to catch up on. And the first thing is not good. It's regarding my knee. I haven't gotten an MRI because I don't think anything is like structurally wrong with it. Like it doesn't feel like anything is actually structurally wrong with it. I am just having like so much pain. It's ridiculous. Like I, I've i never felt this much pain with my knee before. Like other than when I was like recovering from my actual surgery, like it hurts so bad. And it's like right under, Back story. I had ACL surgery in college. I played college soccer for those of you who don't know, but I had ACL surgery back, what it was probably like almost five years ago now. And they took my patellar tendon, which your patellar tendon is like below your kneecap, like right in the front of your knee. And they take a piece out of the middle. So my patellar tendon has a big chunk missing out of it, right in the middle, big chunk. And um, that's what my like new ACL was grafted with. And my ACL like has always been fine, knock on wood. Would, but like it's always been fine never given me issues my patellar tendonitis has like always given me issues and it's just so flared up right now sorry the lighting keeps changing it's so weird it's like really cloudy today but it's giving me so many issues and i can't even like walk up or down stairs right now like it hurts to do any type of bending at all like if i were to sit in this position for too long my knee will literally like get stuck and it hurts so bad so bad so i don't know how long i'm gonna need to like take off but i'm just like not working out right now like all i'm doing is going on walks and even if i walk like way too long it hurts then as well so like i still have to be careful so i'm just gonna be walking cycling maybe like abs and that's pretty much it like i can't really do much i've never been good at rest mm -hmm. i just I'm not like I love just like moving. This is gonna be really hard for me. Like honestly, like I cried at the gym yesterday because I couldn't even do like a single body weighted squat and yeah, without pain. So anyways, I am really like blessed that I haven't been hurt in a while. I just like really honestly don't do well with injury. Like I just don't handle it very well. So that's what the next few weeks are looking like. And um, yeah, that's the bad news. 
what else is new oh actually there's more bad news last week bronson's truck got stolen literally out of our driveway which is insane like i started vlogging on that day and it the whole week was just insane like it was just insane uh so what happened was we were bringing groceries we had just gone to the grocery store and we accidentally left the keys in the car which i know is on us but like i feel like people do that all the time so i'm not like yes it's on us but like also it's crappy people who steal cars i think it ended up being like kids who I don't know if it was kids or adults, whatever, but who were like checking doors and like stealing wallets inside. Our keys just happened to be in there. And we were done bringing groceries at like 8.15, 8.20 and our car was gone by 8.30. So I don't know if they like followed us home from the grocery store knowing that we were gonna have to be going in and out or if they were genuinely just got really lucky. But luckily two days later, the police found it at some random apartments. The car was trashed, like actually trashed with trash and like gross stuff. It was really, really disgusting. I'll insert some clips here. Overall, like nothing was damaged. Like there was like, there's like a scratch on the outside and that's literally it. So we got so lucky because there have been so many break-ins and like car thefts in Dallas recently. It's actually crazy how many there have been. And you know, like when stuff like that happens, like I'm thankful that we're like safe and everything's okay, but it does make you feel like a bit uneasy, just like where we live. And like, it just made me feel like privacy invaded. Like it was just like a gross feeling, you know? Something we're kind of dealing with is like, we don't love how we're feeling right now in our neighborhood because there were also like gunshots the other night. Like three nights in a row, we had like really loud gunshots, like really, really close to us. That just is like, doesn't sit well. You know what I mean? So that was the other crazy thing that happened last week. So it's just been a lot. Like we've been dealing with all that. I'm dealing with my knee and it's just, it's just been a lot. It's been a lot, okay? Sorry for like two negative things. Also my camera is gonna overheat. Oh gosh. I'm so bored. <sighs> okay, that was good. I went on a six mile walk. My pace was 1713, which you know feels fast. It feels fast. I'm not gonna lie. And you know, I've decided if I am gonna have to walk, I'm gonna walk to the best of my ability. Okay, I'm gonna be out there speed walking. Anyways, whew. I'm like sweaty now. I turned on the heat in the house because I was like, it's, I'm so cold in here. And turned on the heat. It's like, it's like literally 65 degrees outside. But anyways, I feel good. I feel happy that I got some movement in. Yeah, I just, I need to take all my vitamins and supplements now. Literally, if you have hormonal acne, please, please, please get this one. The spearmint plus DIM plus sol pimento. I don't know what that thing is. I don't know what that ingredient is, but DIM and spearmint, amazing. But you have to be careful because this, if you don't want to take too much of this because it can overload your liver. So just be careful. Watch out for that. But if you're just taking the recommended amount, you should be fine. Oh, I'm also taking magnesium at night now and oh my gosh, I am having the best sleep of my entire life. Like I am not kidding. It's been so good. And then I'm also gonna do my Mary Ruth's probiotic and my SEAC tea. So those are current sups. I should probably take more, but I hate taking pills. So everything's a pill. Delish. hate it also y'all know how much i love simple modern cups like i love these so much i will say their one flaw is that they leak out the top they do in fact leak so you've probably seen these all over the place but brewmate sent me this i am actually obsessed with it they're essentially the same size but this one looks a little bit sleeker in my opinion honestly but you can turn this and when you turn it it locks it and it literally does not leak at all at all it's amazing you can just throw it in your bag also this is like squishy which that's a huge plus for me <laughs> like i love a straw that i can bite on so highly recommend this if you're thinking about it like i honestly prefer this one now to this one which i never thought i'd say i actually need to do a little bit of work i need to plan out my whole february i normally like to do that before the month but i'm a little bit behind because of everything with powders so i need to do some admin stuff <coughs> i honestly feel good after the walk i think my body probably needs this like my knee doesn't hurt which is surprising so 
Anyways, I'm just gonna do a bunch of recovery stuff today. Like that's that's the goal because if you've ever had to deal with an injury, it just sucks. Like, especially going from working out, which a lot of working out is mental for me. Like it's just a mental release. Like I just need to like be able to move in some way. Personally, walking just doesn't do that for me. Low intensity stuff just doesn't do that for me in general. So I'm like, I think it's gonna be a struggle the next few weeks, but it's probably something that I need to learn just to like learn how to slow down and kind of like read my body better because I didn't even realize my knee was like hurt. Like I feel like it came on so quickly that I didn't even have time to like do anything about it, which stinks, but I'm just gonna take it easy. Literally just like walk basic stuff basic stuff. But like high intensity workouts for me is just like a release. So that's going to be the toughest part of this. Honestly, it's just not being able to have that. It's going to be a little bit tough. I do want to get maybe a little more into yoga because I think I could probably use that. I'm not, I never stretch, literally never stretch. If you stretch, you're amazing. You're better. You're just better. You know, like the 5am girlies, like you just feel elite. That's how I feel about people who stretch. I am not one of them. I'm screaming. I'm literally so excited. So I just got a package. I'm working with Aritzia later this month and which is like a dream come true. Like I can't even believe I'm saying that, okay? I am obsessed with Aritzia. It's like the best quality stuff. So anyways, I'm working with them later this month and I am, I just got the package. I just got the package and it's, I'm so excited. Let me show you some stuff that I picked out. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, first thing is these sweatpants. I got some with like the raw hem at the end. Love. Their cozy fleece line is so good. So I got the gray and then I got this little cropped gray hoodie as well. <gasps> Next is another sweat set. I loved this color. It's just gorgeous. I literally got them in the exact same sweatpants, like the flares. I don't really have any flare sweatpants, so I love these. Oh, I guess I got the exact same thing in two colors. Mm -hmm. Typical. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I really hope it looks good on me. I got a little jean skirt, and it has, like, the little pockets. This is so Pinterest. I'm obsessed. I really hope it fits me. I got a 27, which is, like, I'm in between a 26 and a 27 in jeans, but I feel like skirts, I always like to size up just in case. I just got this little square neck. I'm gonna style this with the mini skirt. I just, with some tall boots. Dare I say we do a little try on haul? Dare I say it? No, because this is actually so cute. I love this color, one. The teal, very, very cute. The cropped jacket, I feel like I've gotten away from wearing cropped jackets. I don't know why, because this is so stinking cute. Okay. Okay, but like this is a moment. This is my Pinterest moment. I will say the skirt is very short, which is like out of my comfort zone. I don't know how the girlies go out in mini skirts. Maybe it's because I have big thighs and maybe that's the reason. I, this feels scanty, but this is so cute. This is so cute. Here's what I was thinking. So when you see this on my Instagram, this outfit, I need you guys to hype it up, okay? Very basic, but like for me, this is like, this is really fashionable, okay? Okay, if you have not hopped on the pre-made meal prep train, baby, what is you doing? Because this has made my life so, so, so much easier. I love Factor. You guys know I love Factor. We literally live off Factor for our lunches. Like, I think it's just the coolest thing. They're delivered right to your door, which is amazing. You can go online. So many different chef selected meals. They're also fresh, never frozen, which is a big thing for me. And you literally heat them up in two minutes and it is so quick and easy. They also have smoothies and like little wellness shots if you guys want that. Their smoothies are so good. Like they are so, so, so good. So if you're a smoothie person, love those. And everything has the macros on it. So like you can just Turn it over and check if it fits your macros for that day. You can head to factor75.com or click the link in the description and use the code Kylie50 to get 50% off your first factor box and free wellness shots for life. Yes, for life. They will literally send you free wellness shots with every single factor box if you're an active subscriber. Highly, highly recommend factor, cannot recommend enough. Today I'm going to have the, which one? The one that fits my macros the best is shredded chicken and loaded mashed potatoes, which is like, that just sounds so freaking good. Here are the macros, you can see. And like I said, nothing is frozen. This is all like fresh food. Let's get the leftovers. Don't let your sister steal all. 
hot. Okay, ouch. This smells so freaking good. The mashed potatoes, they have like little bacon bits on them. That's what I'm going for first. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. Oh, it's a little hot. Good morning vlog. It is Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday, right? Okay. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. We're having food. a little work from home day. We had food. a. I got food in my teeth. That's okay. I'm Show them. Holy lights. We just had a, a very exciting meeting this morning. I can't really tell you too much about that because it was like a real estate ish meeting. So we have been cleaning our house all morning. It looks so good though. Like it looks so fresh and clean. I cleaned up the little pre-workout section over here. Oh, so it's looking really good. Let me show you around. I know you guys have seen this a million times, but when the house is clean, I just feel rejuvenated. The dining room, love her, love her. The closet room slash office, love her. Kitchen, very, very clean. We love it. I moved our little ice maker over here, which makes so much more sense because it's next to the filtered water, which I got this on Amazon, you guys. I love this thing. It's glass and you just have to like order new filters. We use that all the time. My favorite room, the living room. So fresh and clean in here. This is the little guest room. Honestly, the vibe in here is so off. Like literally nothing matches. I just kind of throw things in here and hope for the best. And then our room, which like, I just love our room. The floor to ceiling, curtains, do something for me, okay? I am obsessed with them. And then I also, uh, these baskets were in our laundry room. And so I moved them under here and they look so much better. So I just ordered a third for like the rest of the toilet paper. So it's gonna be three baskets. And I feel like it's just gonna look cleaner than having like everything under there. But guys, I'm still just so obsessed with this tile. Like it never gets old, never gets old. So anyways, it's a little house tour. Oh wait, one more. Ta-da! I love this room. I really wish we used this room more, honestly. You're not allowed up here because you pee on all the carpet up here. This is your little secret poop and pee spot. We just got this new rug. It's from uh, Revival Rugs. And it's like this. It's like lines, but it's super soft. I love it. It's super white up here, which is very dangerous with the dogs. That's why we block them. But we have our little Holbex neon sign. And then this, I actually got those from Amazon. Best like home purchase ever. I think that they just go so well. That was my quick little random home tour. That's pretty much it. And then we have our back house, as you guys know. It used to be Powders HQ, but we recently have, we're switching it back over to like a mother-in-law suite, like somewhere where we can host like friends and family. Yeah, I'm just really happy about that because it was just a lot like having our friends at our house, like literally 24 seven. It just felt like a lot. I feel like I never, have like shown you guys like this full upstairs area fun fact they actually left their projector and the projector screen i get questions all the time like where we got this screen at no idea <laughs> literally no idea the old owners just left left it with the house and uh yeah so we just we enjoy it we love it um i do need to go on my long walk for the day i was supposed to do a cycling class this morning at 6 30 but we stayed up too late and i was like there's literally no way that i'm gonna be making it to that cycle class so i canceled it last minute and i got a late charge i love class pass but i hate the late charges like it's it's 14 dollars that's a lot. That's a lot for a late charge, which I guess the purpose is to like make you go to class. So that makes sense. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do a long walk. If I have time, I'll probably go later today. We're having people over for to watch Bachelor again tonight. We skipped it last night because everyone was busy. So we're having people over tonight. Miss Lady, what are you doing? I saw you sticking your head through there. Oh, Mr. Bean. Oh, Mr. Bean. <laughs> I just love you guys so much. Here is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing this Skims sweatsuit. I, Miss Kimberly is doing something right over there because this is by far my favorite sweatsuit. Like it's really light, which I prefer like a lighter sweatsuit rather than like a super thick, heavy one. So this is so cute. I also love the maroon. Like it's a little bit spicy, a little bit different. And then the jacket. They also have like hoodies and stuff. And then this shirt is from Tala, which is like my favorite, one of my favorite activewear brands by far. And then I always get questions on these two necklaces. This little H, 
um, is the Kendra Scott like bridal collection, which is so good. They have like such dainty, beautiful stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm obsessed with this one. And then this one, I think it's called Anna Luisa, and I it actually only came with the chain and then the two like birthstone jewels, and then these the cross and like the little pearl with the heart. That was actually from like a little boutique. So these were only like five dollars each, and I added them to the chain. And I just like I love like the bundled jewels. Like I I love that look. I think it's really fun. So anyways, if you ever hear the bells ringing in the background, it's her. She, we tried to train her with the bells to go potty with these bells, but she, she just does it anytime she wants to go outside and she like is always wanting to go outside. So they're constantly being rung. Yeah, it's a nice day. Why don't you guys go hang out? Why don't we leave the door open, huh? Oh, get it, boy, get it, boy, get it, get it, get it, boy, get it, boy, move them hips, get it, get it, get it, boy. Oh, no, you're not. You stepped on me all crap. This is our new office setup. See, the double desk. It was so worth it. How do you like the double desk? Pee pee! Hello! Welcome, 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 welcome. What's up, bro? What's up? Like that, so get like me. Oh, of course, of course. Hi. Okay, I'm about to make some lunch. I have to share this bread. I'm obsessed with it. It's from the brand Hero. It's their seeded bread. That's the best one. Macros, amazing. Like, I am just obsessed with it. It just tastes like normal, delicious bread. I'm gonna make a quick little, very simple sandwich because Paige and I are gonna go shop around for some things because we have multiple powder shoots this week, so we need a lot of props. So I'm gonna bring you along for that, but we're making a quick little lunch. I cannot explain to you how much I love mustard. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a girl's turkey mustard sandwich. Slap. Is the Chronicles of Paige and Kylie. Pee-pee and Kiki. Pee-pee and Kiki. <laughs> Sometimes on a good day, <laughs> I get released from the office, so we go, quote unquote, Kylie would say, toot around, but we're working. You act like you're in chains. Bronson holds a tight ship around here, okay? Powders does not sleep. So if y'all want Here's the thing, Paige. to dial in, follow Powders, shameless plug, and then put the logo Powders. <laughs> okay, I will. Um, Can we not make it so hot in here? Oh, sorry. I'm, there's literally no air. Yeah. Exactly. We put some air. Jeez. She. <laughs> you know, if I was your boss, we would never get anything done. Oh. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Bad thing is I love working with you. It's really fun. Like, you yeah. get to do creative stuff. I feel like we're co-workers and Bronson's both of our boss. That's fair. If you were my boss, this is what Kylie would do. I'm your boss. Don't work. Just chat with me. Come show me. Let me influence you. Try this outfit on. You have. This is the best workout set of your life, which I will say. But did I'm, I lie? No, you don't lie. I will say I'm so grateful for Kylie because she brings me the best, like, workout gear that I wouldn't even know of because she's just so highly connected and influenced. Nothing would get done. Nothing. Yeah. Ow, I just hurt my knee, dude. Oh! Them knee girls. <laughs> Bad knee, let me tell you. Oh, perfect. Here. Yeah, that's great. Look at this I mood. love these. Are so cute, though. <gasps> that's so cute. Be my Valentine. I would love this and a little bit of this. Yeah, she need a Valentine. Anyone out there? Wait, I love this. That's really cute. This is not it, but not it, but it's close. We could, like if we this. didn't want a lid to it, we could just put this with the pre-workout and then. Why don't we bring it to see if it fits? Oh, we should. Go. My heart beats for you. <laughs> That's so lame. Candy. Oh, are... rainbow. Dude, we're getting oh, yeah. those. Oh, that's cute. We're gonna need a bunch, though. Okay, how much? They're that's seven dollars each. Holy crap! Holy spirit! Here's pages. Strong, on. tall, pages on and handsome. Them. Oh, those like, are very cool. similar. Oh. I am obsessed with this. The daisies. Oh, the Easter. They're ten dollars each, though. Is that? I mean, this is just cute. What is this? What is this? Tell me. What is this? What I is don't it? I know, but it's cute. <laughs> Iridescent, some would say. Rainbow snow cone. 
<laughs> no, that is cute. I wonder if it would come across like that on camera. What does it look like on camera? White. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I wonder what it would look like across camera. It's on camera. Oh, I mean a little bit actually. Super target. <laughs> Super! What type of target is this? Super! Super! Ew. This is cute. I'm not really a pink girl, but. Valentine's Day. Oh, Isn't that's that so cute. cute. Oh, I just like the top. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm those absolutely are cute. getting these. I'm absolutely getting these. Those are cute. With this, even, look at that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Bronson's gonna watch this. Oh, he needs to be like, no, you guys were shopping. Bronson. I've been DMing people this whole time. Have I not been? You have. Thank you. you. Okay, so we found this box. It's like literally perfect. We're gonna put the pre-workout in it because we're bringing back Rainbow Snow Cone and it's gonna say, a gift, our gift to you because we love you. Isn't that cute? Perfect. This is like the OG. Yeah. Should we get like three? Yeah, just in case. Oh wait, but what about these ones? What's the difference? Uh, this is Kissing. Let's say BFF. The colors. Oh. These are brighter. Should we do a mix? Sweethearts are like OG, I think. I think we go with I that. Put them in the bag. I don't know how we can manage to spend $100. 100 Dude, I don't know. I don't know. That's a Anything quick. for a deal, but who said we're making any deals? <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, Target, it's, what is it? Like, shop more, pay less? What is it? Mm. Target. Is it? Hey, or is that a store? Target. I think it's on the wall out here, actually. Hold on. Hey, wait. 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 wait it's wait, literally guess. right here. Guess before you think it is. Who? Yes, look. <laughs> it says more I told you. What did I say first? Shop more <laughs> Shop more payless. Honestly, <laughs> kind of close. Wow. Guess who forgot to make an outro again? It's me. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because mm, it really supports my channel and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching this vlog. Love y'all. Smoochies.